I did feel the vibe of many old coal miners that have dug deep into the earth for the world to find resources for us to heat our homes. Breathing through celebrating everything good in the world. The place is insane. There's a lo loads of like little hidden corners as well, which I like. There's no other place like it in the world because it's like a national heritage site, right? And the whole place just, it just breathes techno, I think, in this place with the industrial vibe. Thank you for the invite. So I drum, they're my guys. And now the kids just want to rave. I had a good expectation, but when I arrived, uh, this industrial kind of area totally made sense with the stone techno project, the music that comes behind the, the name. There were so many sounds to choose from. I mean, I could have made uh, 10 tracks out of it. I enjoyed a lot of the stone sounds and those kind of belly metallic hits. Yeah. I used as like a top line. A lot of nice percussive and almost uh, industrial percussive noise. They actually were very useful. Normally when you get a sample pack, it's maybe 10% of it is great, the rest is not so great, but actually I was very inspired. I was able to fit it in really well. I played the track, it smashed it, yes. I mean, this place is unique in the world, yeah. I've never seen something like this. It was my debut and it was incredible. The venue alone, is beyond. It's so many hidden corners, so many different floors. The energy was so crazy from the beginning till the end. I would love to have that again. Yes, of course, I would love to come back. Oh, no. I felt very responsible and also energized. This is the best and the most beautiful location I've seen in my life. And not even like as a DJ, like as a person. We had a fucking party. <laughs> is absolutely amazing. My location is really special. And I think that's so awesome because this is, this is the right place for techno music. The crowd was giving me so much energy, so I had an absolutely great time. An amazing thing I've never experienced before we playing outdoors, but yet feeling like we were together in a club. In school, when I was young, you hear about the rules for beat, but uh, I never saw it up close like this. It's really impressive. First time I played in the World Heritage site, so that's the one to tick off. Um, the energy of the people is really nice. I think also where Essen is positioned in Europe, then they get a lot of people from the surrounding areas, which I think is really cool.